Hey everybody, this is Eric Parker with One Number, and for today's Tableau tutorial, what I want to do is dive into uh, how to create diverging bar charts in Tableau. Um, so if you are looking to uh, mix up the way that you visualize correlation um, and relationships between two measures for your users, this might be a great uh, chart type and approach for you. It is meant for a little bit more of an advanced audience because there's a little bit of abstract thinking that takes place in interpreting these charts. Uh, but other than that, I would say they're a, a pretty cool tool that I hope that maybe you could add to your arsenal. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, so I'm going to use an example that comes directly from a client engagement of mine, um, working in the healthcare industry. Um, so there's a question about different hospitals um, and how their infection counts compared to their infection rates. So what that means is basically you could have a really large hospital that has a high number of infections, but as a percentage of their total patient, it's pretty low. Whereas you could have a small hospital that in relative terms has a small infection count, but it's a really large percentage of their smaller hospital population. So this is all fake data, so nothing uh, proprietary here or anything. You'll, uh, you may even recognize a few of these hospital names. So I'm going to drag the hospital field to the road shelf. And you can see that uh, these may have come from some TV shows and movies. Um, so we'll go ahead and dive into this. So in order to do the bar, um, uh, the diverging bar chart, a uh, couple things. So I'm going to start with my infection rate field and put that on the column shelf. And then I'm going to grab infection count and also put that on the column shelf just after infection rate. So now I have these two separate bars, which is fine. I mean, that's a great visual. Um, sometimes people will call this like a side by side bar chart. So if you have multiple values that you want to be looking at at once, be able to sort on them. That's one of the great benefits of having two different bars, right? Is you can click on the axis and sort. Let me walk you through a diverging bar chart though and why this may even be more helpful for your situation. So it sounds complicated, it's actually quite simple. I'm just gonna right click on my first measure axis, in this case, infection rate. I'm gonna edit the axis and I'm just gonna select reversed under the scale uh, selection. So what reversing the axis just did is it means that the axis is now starting at zero on the right side and then working its way up to the highest percentage on the left side. So you might think that's weird. You know, why would somebody want to think about their data like that? What's the benefit? I would say the benefit is that your user can now have an easier time connecting this value to that value. So I can see, okay, Lang Memorial had by far the highest infection count but it's actually a fairly low infection rate. Whereas Mobile Army Surgical had an extremely high infection rate at 5.7%, but a moderately lower infection count at 40. So a couple things you might like to do to spruce this up. Um, you can either put measure names on the color tab to change the colors. That's probably how I would do it. Um, or you can edit them individually in the uh, different sections for the two measures and the marks card. Uh, but here, I'll go ahead and just do a quick colors to sort of break this up visually for the user. So yeah, maybe my infection count stays that uh, blue color and then infection rate. Um, I'm kind of playing around with what color I want this to be. I'll just go with gray for now. So that way, I'm now sort of visually distinguished from my user that, hey, clearly these are two different measures. Um, may even want to do something here in the title to help break that up for my user. And uh, I probably would want to uh, reverse the order so that it matches the title order as well. So for instance, I might say infection rate to infection count. And then a little creativity here. Infection count, I'm going to try and get that to match the blue in the bars. And infection rate, I'll try and do something similar. Try and get that to match the gray in the bars. So now I'm just trying to help tie this all out visually for my user. So again, probably not meant for like a super beginner audience um, that's very new to data analysis since this is a bit of a hmm, uncommon way to visualize uh, numeric information. But I think this can be very helpful when you have a lot of values you need to do sorting and you need to understand the relationship between those values. So uh, thanks for checking in for this week's Tableau tutorial. We really appreciate you dropping by and we hope to catch you here again next week for another video. Thanks.